It's pageant weekend, baby. Let's get it! Woo! I need to scream in excitement real quick, all right? Pageant weekend, guys! The weekend I've been waiting for since March of this year is finally here! Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! It is exactly 8.16 a.m. on Friday, August 5th, and I am driving to Wisconsin for the National American Miss Minnesota and Wisconsin State Pageants. Okay. I kind of need to get a move on. If any of you don't need this intro, skip to this time if you want to skip the boring stuff. You're welcome. And for all of you that wanted a further explanation, hi, editing Haley here, I'm going to deliver exactly that. So, National American Miss, what is it? It is an amazing pageant system that specializes in women empowerment, growing confidence, and gaining valuable life skills, like communicating effectively and public speaking, for example, and also just learning how to present yourself in a confident, poised, and elegant manner. So, yeah, over the past nine years, National American Miss has made a huge impact on my life and me as a person, and that is just part of the reason why I I absolutely love it. And also just to clarify, I'm competing for the 2022 Miss Minnesota teen title, even though the actual competition is in Wisconsin. The Minnesota and Wisconsin state pageants are just held together in one event. Alrighty, that's about it for this extended intro, I guess, that half of you probably skipped anyway. But I thought I should make this because like a lot of you that have been following me on Instagram or YouTube for a while might not even know that I do pageants in the first place. And I just wanted to make sure that no matter who's watching this, that this video is easy to follow and you know what's going on. All right, back to the video. Cars in reverse. Reverse, reverse! We're off, my friends, and the road trip to the hotel begins. This lighting is like not it, sis. I have like a huge block across my face. A few moments later. So, as you can see, there's no one else with me here. I'm alone in the car, so basically it's pageant weekend and it's also kind of a road trip. It's kind of a lot of growth for me because you guys have seen my channel. You've seen the evolution of my driving habits and my feelings about driving. I'm stressed. I think I'm pulling out the big guns, guys. I'm going on the highway and now here I am going on my first kind of road trip by myself. See, I'm 19 years old. I'm perfectly capable of doing this, but it's just four hours is a long drive here. So, you know, it's just something I've never really done. So not only is it pageant weekend, but it's also a little road trip by myself. What am I actually doing? Can I just like block this intersection? Okay, I guess I am. I need to get there at 1.45 p.m. and I am set to get there at 12.39. I gave myself just plenty of time. So yeah, I'm driving by myself and then my grandma is gonna get there at like six o'clock. Hi there, what can I get started for you today? Hi, do you have any of your ham and Swiss croissants? Um, uh, I don't think so actually. Let me check, let me check. Okay. Do you have it on a baguette? Made a mozzarella, the pesto, and I. Oh, sorry, I actually have one left. Oh, can I have it? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. We got a ham and Swiss baguette. All right, I will see you up here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. They're out of my croissant, but it's okay. The baguette is also really good. So my grandma's gonna get there at six, but this was kind of a thing that was a little maddening. I can't check into the hotel because I have to be 21. Yeah, I honestly saw that coming. I mean, legally, in Minnesota and Wisconsin, I did Google it, you can check into a hotel at 18, but it's just hotels individually at their discretion can require 21, meaning it's kind of a toss-up if it's gonna be 18 or 21. And obviously, since I'm 19, um, this hotel will not let me in, so that sucks. Oh. Thank you. Exactly. Have a great day. At right. the stop sign, oh, turn right on. That's obnoxious. A few inches later, First time I've crossed state lines by myself. I stopped because I'm like starving, so I'm finally gonna eat my ham and Swiss baguette from Starbucks. I like got it, but then I just kind of packaged it up because it was just too early for me to eat breakfast, but like since that's just my go-to Starbucks, I was like, you know what, might as well stop now. The cheese is stuck to the bag. Yes, look at this beauty. Mmm, okay. Three hours later. Victory screech! <laughs> Guys, I made it. Right behind me, Madison Marriott West in Middleton, Wisconsin. Here I am. Well, that was a drive. It was actually a really easy drive though because I was on the same road for like 200 some miles. I don't even know anymore. So I have some time to kill because it is only 1.06 and um, 
I'm not getting my hair and makeup done until 1.45. And then there's pageant check-in at, is it 4.15, I think? Or like 4.30, it's 4 something. Also talent and casual wear practice, that's at 4.15, I know for sure. Oh my gosh, my hip, bro. My hip and leg is kind of feeling the burn from the drive. This is the finished look. No one's in the bathroom, so little pageant check-in fit. Interview suits and my hair and makeup completely done. I'm all set. Pageant check-in complete, let's get it! <laughs> Woo! So I just got back from the Nam 20th anniversary party. A nice golden pink dress. My hair and makeup held up really well. But now after all that, I need to take it all off. And also, my grandma got here. I did. Queen. <laughs> so we're both gonna crash tonight because we're both really tired and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Hey guys, so it's 6 a.m. and I need to go down to hair and makeup. Day one was such a fun day with all the parties and just getting to hang out with all the girls and it was pretty great. All right guys, I'm gonna be full glam in three, two, one. Magic, I'm full glam. Stage pageant makeup, so yeah, it's even more intense than yesterday and I'm kind of living for it. It's just really out of my comfort zone. She did an amazing job on my hair too. Shout out to the Makeup by Mascara team. You guys are legendary. I have my production number outfit on right now, the cute 20 year anniversary shirt. It's really comfy and cute and I have my jean shorts on and I need to head down to form wear and introduction rehearsal and right after that I need to go straight to fun fitness and talent and yeah optionals busy day I don't even know what I'll see you next this day has been crazy fun fitness outfit leggings and sports bra literally all from Target super cute I am literally all ready to compete first competition of pageant weekend you are funny grandma's just like watching me vlog Folding all my clothes, doing great grandma things. Somebody's gotta take care of her. Now it's recording. It's ready to go? Yeah. Just hold it there, yes. right? As you can see, I went to Fun Fitness, but since talent was like right after Fun Fitness, I had to like rush, rush, rush. But yeah, I just got done doing talent. This is what I wore. I played piano. See you in like three hours, because that's when my next thing is. So I'm going to get some food and hang out. Just then. So I had like a huge hotel room freak out moment because next I have runway boot camp. On the schedule, it said you had to wear jeans, like long jeans and a black top, which is like what I normally wear for everything pageant. I could not find my jeans and black shirt in my bag. I had like a huge heart attack because I wore them on Friday when I got here and then I changed out of them in the public bathroom and I was like, oh no, like did I leave them in the bathroom? Did I leave them somewhere? But lo and behold, they were buried in another bag and down below a bunch of papers. Here we are in uniform for runway, boot camp, jeans, black top. And for now, Birkenstocks, since I have a few hours and I'm, you know, gonna give my feet a little rest from the six inch heels. Yay! Hey guys, okay, we're waiting for runway boot camp to start. All my team friends, yes. Runway though is an optional competition, so this isn't all of us. It's just the people that are participating in runway, because if you are participating in runway, this is required. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Hi, I'm Michaela. Here's Jamie. Hi, I'm Ty and Mishu. We're at the runway training camp. Hey, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Alexia. Whoa, this is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back down the line. A video in the video. <laughs> I haven't really been able to vlog the actual like competitions and backstage because first of all there's a strict no recording policy but second backstage is just so like fast paced one event after another you know there's no time in between oftentimes I'm literally holding up my hand now with my other arm because my arm's getting tired 
Hey, editing Haley back again. So at this point, it was about 4.15 p.m. and I got super busy, so I barely filmed anything that night. But it was a really competition-heavy night, including my favorite optional competition of all time, top model, and also our first required one. So I didn't want to just skip over all that, so I'm going to walk you through it with a voiceover. Starting at 4.30, I had red carpet correspondent, screen test, and top model. These three optional competitions take place in a separate room where no audience is allowed. Next up was my first and personal favorite required competition, formal wear. Here's the video of my performance. Introducing number 109, Haley Mullins. She says that she enjoys filming and editing YouTube videos. Also plays the piano and violin. But her ambition is to one day become a motivational speaker and talk show host. Dreaming big is number 109, Haley Mullins. And then I picked up the vlog at about 8.30 after the formal wear competition. Back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, guys, so this is my outfit for runway. This pink feather dress, these really pretty sparkly shoes <coughs> featuring the leaf that fell off of the bouquet of flowers from formal wear. These star earrings are like literally my favorite part of the outfit. Two eyelashes and seven makeup remover wipes later. Here we are. This is as good as we're gonna get. Um, yeah, so now it's time for me to shower and get all this out of my hair. I have a really early morning tomorrow. I have to be at hair and makeup at 5.45, so I should probably get going. Today was a jam-packed day. It was crazy fun. Tomorrow morning is personal introduction, bright and early at 8.15 a.m. Personal introduction is just like a 30-second speech about yourself on stage. So yeah, that's super exciting. One required competition down two more to go or technically two down two more to go because we have to do our community involvement project time to shower even though I like really don't want to but gotta be done day three Expressing myself through music and videography allows me to bring my YouTube and Instagram audience along my journey. Future world-renowned speaker and talk show host from coming soon to your recommended page, I am Haley Mullins. Hey guys, so another hotel room update. I just finished interview. I feel so good about it. It was for sure my best interview I've ever done. So no matter what the results are, like I'll walk away happy knowing that that was the best interview I've ever done in my history of pageants. Next is production number rehearsal or like final show rehearsal or something. Mom is here. So Hi! <laughs> so that's great. As you can see, my grandma was my momager. You know, my grand momager. Grand momager. For a while, but then she had to leave. So now now mom is coming because she can finally make it. So she's gonna be helping out with the final show. We are gonna go ahead and move forward with our results for our team division for the great state of Minnesota. Beginning with a fourth runner up, it's Bella Bowes. Third runner up, Fiona Walgren. Second runner up, Alexis Schaff. Two young women remain. One will be the first runner up and one will be our new Miss Minnesota team. The name that I'm about to call is the name of our first runner-up. First runner-up in the state of Minnesota. You are Haley Mullins. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, that's your new 2022 Miss Minnesota Teen is Tiffany Manning! <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Take your first walk on our runway as you're waiting. So I just got back from the final show and I couldn't be more happy with my performance. I wouldn't change anything and I got first runner up to the NAMM Minnesota team title. I could not believe it. It was actually crazy. Huge congratulations to Tiffany Manning. She took on the title. Well deserved win. It was her time to shine and I'm so happy for her. And yeah, for optionals, I won several optionals, which I'm super grateful for and I had such an amazing time here this weekend. I'm just so happy with how this weekend turned out especially after being kind of four years rusty essentially in pageantry i i'm just so excited that i decided to come back so yeah nam minnesota and wisconsin state pageant was one for the books my mom is getting me canes <laughs> to bring back here so that i can just enjoy here eat some food in the privacy of this hotel room in the bathroom now oh lights hello I look <laughs> I took off like my lipstick and like the makeup around like my nose and mouth but like not my eye makeup so like my face just looks uneven hey guys so now it's 11 30 at night it's quite a few hours later I've just taken a hot minute to just totally unwind you pageant girls especially out there know that like everything's so fast paced that you just like literally forget to eat i mean i guess i don't know about everyone but a lot of girls are running on an empty stomach <laughs> and that was me i enjoyed a nice long dinner just by myself in my hotel room so yeah i just basically wanted to talk to you a little bit kind of just like do a self-reflection but like kind of think out loud <laughs> i'm just gonna vocalize my self-reflection to you guys i had so much fun this weekend and I'm so glad to be back in the pageant world and all the girls that I met were just so amazing and it's just so awesome to be around amazing supportive energy like that was just so refreshing I told you guys earlier I finished first runner-up in the state of Minnesota for the teen title absolutely crazy to me and I couldn't be happier for the winner. We really clicked this pageant weekend. Such a nice girl. So if you don't really know National American Miss and how the awards system works, basically there is the state title that girls compete for. Like everyone here this weekend is competing for the state title. So in my case, it's Miss Minnesota and that's like the required competitions. But then there's also a bunch of optional competitions. And I participated in six of the optionals and they were all super fun. And and I actually won talent, top model, media correspondent, screen test, and I got first runner up in fun fitness and fourth runner up in runway. And runway was like super out of my comfort zone. First time I ever did something that fierce and I'm loving it and I'm so excited to learn more. Um, and I also got best resume award winner, which was totally unexpected. Um, so I'm, I'm glad the judges liked my resume. I'm just gonna end this with a little motivation because you know me and my motivation. It can be really hard to not get the results you wanted. It can be hard to feel like you maybe didn't perform your best. But I just want to say scores are just numbers and don't place your worth in a number. You are way more than that. It is 10.35, I think, and I need to be out of this room by noon, and my room is a hot mess. <laughs> Wisconsin, you've done me well. I totally forgot about this. This has been sitting in my car for three days, folks. Disgusting! I am literally gonna walk back up to the hotel just to throw this away. Nasty. <laughs>